Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we will understand our question. The program has to accept the string yes and the integer x as the input. Then the program must print the character present at the positions of the multiple. of x then in the circular in the circularly reverse order then if the sorry after printing the character the characters must be removed so after removing the characters of the multiples of x if the multiples of n sorry x goes beyond first character then it must be traversed back again in cycle manner so first we are getting our inputs the string yes and the integer x sorry integer n then we'll print the then we'll print the characters present at the positions of multiples of n in circularly reverse order then after printing the characters the first character must be removed then if multiples of n goes beyond the first character then it must be traversed back again in cycle manner so we'll take our first test case so here the n is 4 now we will arrange them in the positions of the reverse order as it is given in the question so now we have to print the character present at the positions of multiples of n so in the fourth position we have p and now we have to re remove it and traverse in the back so 1 2 3 4 so in the fourth position that is in the nth position we are getting again p so we'll print it and remove it then we'll traverse again so 1 2 3 4 5 sorry 4 the fourth position we are getting a so we will print it and remove it then we have to traverse here so 1 2 3 4 so in the fourth position we are getting el so we will print it and remove it then we have e as the leftover then we will print e and remove it also so this will be our output we will take another test case so here the n is 5 now we will mark the positions that is 1 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 so after marking the positions we can see in the nth position we have 1 so we'll first print 1 
then after that we'll replace it with asterisk that is it is removed then we will traverse and change the positions so in again the fifth position we are getting five so we'll remove it then after that again we'll traverse so one two three so we should not consider this as it is removed so one two three four and five so in the nth position that is in the fifth position we are getting z so we'll print it then we'll remove and again we'll traverse one two should not consider then three four and five so we're getting two we'll print it and remove the character so after that we'll move towards here so when we traverse one two three four so we should not consider so here it is four and here it is five so in the fifth position we are getting three so we'll print three and remove it then we have to traverse here so one two three four four and five so in the fifth position we are getting the ash so we'll remove it then we have one two three four and five so we're getting x then we'll remove it then we have one two three four and five so in the fifth position we are getting four so we'll print it and remove then at last we are having the y as the left over so this will be our output now let us implement our program first we'll get the input yes so we'll convert it to list so that it will be easy for the replacements then after that we'll get the input n after that we'll have the variables index character position and the printed character so the index will hold the positions that is the length s yes, minus one that is the last but one position then we'll have the character position which is initially one then we have the printed character which specifies the characters to be printed then we'll have the while while print character is less than len of yes so this ensures that the all characters are printed so if all characters are printed the loop will terminate then in this while loop we'll have if the character position is equal to equal to en means so if the portion is en then we have to print that character and use end argument and also it must be replaced with asterisk that is it is removed so after that then the character position will become zero and the index will be decremented by one and if the index is less than zero the index is equal to the length of yes minus one 
if the s of index is not equal to asterisk then the character position will be incremented by 1 so first we'll get the string s and the integer n as our inputs then we'll have three variables index character position and printed character so the printed character ensures that the all characters are printed then the index will hold the position of the nth nth uh, character then we'll have the character position which is initially one then we'll have the while loop so in the while loop we we'll ensure the printed character is less than len that is all characters are printed then if character position is equal to equal to n we'll print that character and we'll replace it with asterisk then we'll modify the character position equal to 0 and print that the character will be incremented by 1 then we'll in decrement the index then if index is less than 0 the index will be equal to length of s minus 1 then if index is not, not equal to asterisk the character position will be incremented by 1 now we'll execute our program so we'll pass our first test case we have got the correct output now we'll pass our second test case so here also we have got the correct output as we discussed in our logic video our program has passed all our given test cases successfully hope you guys understand thanks for watching See you next video.